Santorini, Mykonos, icons of the Greek islands. Slightly off the beaten path, an up-and-comer arises. Milos. If you haven't heard of it yet, you will. In our four years of travel, we've shared that life on the road isn't all staged photos and slow motion twirls. We're Tim and Finn, and whether we're stuck in the mud, stuck in the rain, or stuck at the border, we're sharing the unfiltered reality of it all. Subscribe to join the adventure on Tripped. If you're new here and don't realize that we're taking the piss, this is not off the beaten path. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of Europeans are well aware of this Greek island, but I can speak for, I think, many Americans that this might be new to us. It is becoming super popular in travel blogs and with Instagrammers because of how photogenic this specific Saraniko beach is here on the island of Milos. We had no idea there were this many people here. We've been here over an hour. <laughs> That's kind of nice. There's different things. How was it? This is the best spot. It is around noon now. We've been here four hours. You could easily spend a day here. So awesome, and you can see how it's a lot more crowded now, which is a perfect time for us to go get some breakfast. I, I guess it's probably lunch. <laughs> That's my angel right there. No services over here, i.e. bathrooms, but this guy showed up while we were down there, so there's snacks available, but it's quite the hike to get back up here to need anything. So I'd recommend bringing everything that you need, including water shoes, which were clutch for me. It's very rocky. Are we showing people how to be careful? We, thank you. Surprise, surprise, Tim and Finn have another scooter. Oh this my. is the best way to see any island, and this is no different. So we're loving being on our own schedule for the four nights we have here. We've got 125 cc's of freedom right now. And the family, Tim. Oh yeah, the place we rented this from, we'll drop it down here. Sweetest people ever, outstanding reviews. The kind of people you knew were not gonna like try to rip you off on the scooter rental. Um, amazing. Plus they recommended great places to eat. All of the people here have been so nice and including our Airbnb host, which we'll tell you about in just a second. We want to give you guys a quick tour of our Airbnb here. Um, this is the best Airbnb we've had in a long time. We stay at a lot of them. And if any of these things that I mentioned, you're like, well, of course those should be there. That's how bad Airbnbs have gotten recently. First off, when we got here, sparkling clean. If there's any mess, that's from us being here. Little thing, just that little extra. When we got in, 
There was drinking water in the fridge and ice cold beers. Mom upstairs even had a little treat for us to eat when you get in. Sometimes you get in late. Sometimes you have that late check-in. It is nice to be able to drink water and have a little snack before you go into town to find a restaurant or something. Just amazing. We didn't even touch it. Look, a fresh loaf of bread, um, butter in the fridge to make toast. Take that hunger edge up. Oh yeah, and hey, it's thinking cute in here. <laughs> That's my contribution. This island is the queen of unique beaches and Papa Fragas here is no exception. Look at how small and cool this is. That was a minute of trying to figure out what to say as we left here, but it's it's just look at it. It's beautiful. Just look at it. It's so pretty. Okay, another <laughs> unique beach. So cool. We're now excited to go to the capital city for dinner and sunset. Wow, formal. Off to Placa. So cool to see. Instagram might take a lot of people around to various places around the world, but once you're here, you really can experience what it is like to be here. This is interesting. There's so many tourists who come up here for sunset that they actually close the road into town, except for locals, of course, who are going home. But then all the tourists were all down in the parking lot there and you walk into town, save space. Getting around by scooter is not the only way. There's great public buses here and a lot of people are using them. We pulled in right before two <laughs> arrived. And so we're kind of on this athletic hike to the top with a swarm of tourists behind us. So we're taking a nice stroll, everyone else in front of us leisurely, but there is a stampede coming behind us. We're just the head of the stampede. Yes, we're leading the way. <laughs> we have no clue where we're going. <laughs> And this is where everyone is going. This is the beautiful church at the top of the mountain for sunset. So there's lots of cute restaurants here in town, but the hike is for everyone to go see sunset here. Yes, always. Always. Of course, because she's so beautiful. And oh, you want to you so she's beautiful. on a stage up there. She's <laughs> Honest thought, what do you feel about me drinking rosé all the time? <laughs> rosé all day, babe. Good choice. But this is so refreshing and so European summer. Is another great sunset spot called Utopia Bar here in Milos but because we did something so similar in Mykonos we're going up to the church tonight.
even joke about that. Don't joke about it. No. And see. Oh, there she goes. Mom upstairs just dropped this off. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. She even has like to go containers. She said I was her favorite. Oh. oh my god. Oh, what did she say? She was just like, ka kanaka. I'm, I'm guessing she was speaking Greek. My Greek a little bit rusty right now. <laughs> so sweet. Uh, no, I think she said I was her favorite. That must be. <laughs> No one's here yet at this Instagram hotspot yet. yet. I'm we I'm sure we only have minutes, but this is very cool to be here alone at 8 a.m. Let's soak up these seconds. Probably because the lighting's all wrong for the Instagrammers, but we'll see. Come check out this cool beach with us. Oh, that's how we're getting down there. I get it. It's not the most accessible beach in the world. Going to the beach. She's going to the beach. First she'll climb some rocks, then she's going to the beach. Okay, let's talk about packing because yesterday I talked about water shoes. Today I tried to look a little bit cuter in some cute sandals, but I would not recommend for anywhere in Milos. Uh, I'll link all of our outfits below in our Amazon shops because it's very important what you're wearing here. What wouldn't you recommend? This is a great opportunity to talk about trip travel gear. Trip travel gear backpacks are a hands-free way to get down to the beach because a cute beach bag is not a practical way to climb to a beach here in Milos. I'd recommend Island Blue on your trip. What the heck? Beach, beach, let's go to the beach. Okay. I have a 34 inch inseam. That's, that's quite a reach. I mean, that is the length of my whole leg. How are shorter people? Pretend you're in a cave. Pretend you're spelunking. This is what we this train for. Spelunking. Trained for this all my Vietnamese life. There you go. Going to the beach. Bye. This is how Lara Croft goes to the beach. <laughs> that's a good quote. <laughs> There's one more. What? <laughs> oh. Here. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at yeah, the angle. Yeah, because it's not like it's not safe. They have this rope, so somebody thought this all out. I would say beaches I've had to use ladders and ropes to get to, this is the easiest one. Incoming! Is there more incoming? Now I'll throw the camera. <laughs> good, good.
We won't have to worry about getting sunburned down here. Well, I'm glad I brought half a bottle of water and two bananas. <laughs> beach was sweet. It is well worth the trip over here. The only thing is make sure you keep your towels over in the center of the beach. A rock came down randomly. Almost took somebody out while we were here. Kind of scary. He left me down here with all this stuff and the camera again. Okay. Hey you pirate! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> SOS! <laughs> For a tucked away beach club, it is quarter after 10. It's already jamming over there. Parking's looking tight. I didn't expect it to pop off this early. my favorite food. It's, I've eaten it for almost every meal here. If you didn't know, in Greece, a Greek salad doesn't have lettuce. It is tomato, cucumber, olives, feta, olive oil, and just like the best oregano, basil, spices, but however they make it so good. So I'd say this is probably my 16th Greek salad in the past six days. <laughs> This is very good, but a shout out to my favorite Greek salad at Greek Isles in Birmingham near Detroit, Michigan. It's what I, it's what I grew up on. It's so good. I think some of these are guest houses. Let me tell you, this charming fishing village of Klima looks as charming in person as it does on camera. And this unit right here, we just met those girls. That is a rental on, they found it on booking.com. How cool to have your little space right there right in front of the water.
you do here after you've looked at the pretty garage doors? You take your Instagram picture, you can go into some shops and then grab a cocktail at the beach. Ah, cocky. And watch the ferries come in. Or yachts. And play, <laughs> play, is it a ferry or is it a yacht? <laughs> And as the vessel came into view here, okay. Finney won the first round. That's a yacht, not a ferry. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> if it's no good. <laughs> I know, they know instantly too. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> not on okay. yours, it's they okay. They said perfect, they okay. said perfect. <laughs> I know, it's on video. Why don't you show us the poses you learned today? No, yesterday. Let's see. All right. Show Instagram us your, pose. show us your flamingo. flamingo. Sunglasses. So hike Sweet your pants. pants. Hike your pants. Well, this could be like hold it up. <laughs> Those are your four poses. <laughs> Before we arrived here, we'd visited three other Greek islands, and anytime we were talking to any locals and told them we were heading towards Milos, they all had the same response. Ah, oh, Milos. I love Milos. So, is there anything else we need to do here before we leave? Grandma upstairs, who owns the building, whose son is doing the Airbnb. One of the things that we love about traveling to Latin America is that with me speaking Spanish, we have such a different experience being able to interact with people. And she came down speaking Greek and not being able to speak, but to share <laughs> the mutual language of love. And like we we're speaking English and she's speaking Greek and just this is... Food is the way to everybody's heart. So, Tim, I think we have another nice dessert tonight. Give me that thing. <laughs> okay, this was the last part of Milos that we wanted to have. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for this really cool experience.